Hi, Jason Reed. Welcome to another edition of Two Minute Chat. Uh, today we're going to show you guys how to generate letters and there's multiple ways you can do this. You can generate a letter individually or you can actually generate letters, uh, generate multiple letters at one time. So to start this process you first want to make sure that your profile is set up correctly. The letters that are generated out of Salesforce actually pulls your personal information onto the letter. So you want to make sure that information is correct. So the first step is to go up to your name up here and simply click on my profile. And we're going to come all the way over here and click on contact. There's a little pencil and that will help you edit your profile. So you want to make sure your email address is correct. You want to also make sure your work phone number is correct. That is the phone number that will be displayed when you uh, generate the letter. Uh, you can also put in any other information down here. Make sure uh, address is correct as far as your home address or your work address, whichever one you want um, to populate on a letter. So we'll click Save All. All right, now that we've done that, we're ready to generate a letter. So first of all, let's start off with leads. We're gonna generate a letter from a lead. So we simply come over to Leads we can find all of our leads here, so whichever one we want to generate a letter for, we're just going to generate one, so we're just going to pick Janet Hughes over here, we're going to click on her name, it's going to open up our lead detail information. Now over here, on the nearest preferred location, that's the location that's going to populate within the letter, so if this is not the location you want the letter to be generated for, you need to go ahead and change this. But for now, we're going to leave it here for Crestlawn. So we're going to scroll down. And under Activity History, we're going to click Mail Merge. All right. So now we see our record to merge is Janet Hughes. That's our lead that we want to uh, create the letter for. And here's all the letters we have within Salesforce. Now, if you notice, it says A-C-C-T-O-P-P. These are letters for accounts and opportunities. Now knowing that this is a lead, we need to scroll down and find the letters for leads. And we'll scroll down. So now you see it says lead canvassing, lead cemetery. These are our letters to generate for our leads. So we'll click on lead cemetery personal planning guide. If you want to log this as an activity, you keep this box checked. And we click Generate. So, after we click Generate, we now we see we've logged a call and we have this notification message. Email will be sent to you with a generated mail merge documents. Number of, mer number of records that were merged, one. Basically, one letter has been created and it will be sent to your email. So now, you need to First, go ahead and click Save, or you can make any other task information updates that you want to. But let's just click Save. So now we need to go to our email. We see that our email from salesforce.com. Open up the document. And here's our letter that we've created. And we simply enable editing. And we can just go to file and print and print it off on your funeral head or cemetery uh, letterhead. So now we're going to learn how to generate multiple letters for multiple leads in a mass mail merge. So now that we're working with our leads still, we want to click on our lead tab up top. Uh, we're going to scroll down to the very bottom and we're going to come to our tools section click on mass mail merge, wait for it to refresh, and then now we're going to drop down in our view under mail merge leads. Okay, so now it's refreshed. So now all these leads are available for a mass mail merge, meaning we can select multiple leads and generate a letter for each lead. Simply check the boxes over on the left, which we've done here. Now we'll come up and click Next. 
select the type of documents we want to generate. We're only working on with documents right now. Um, envelopes and labels will be available later. But for now, it's just we're going to generate the, uh, a document. We're going to click Next. Okay, so now again, it's the same process. All these letters you see up top are for our accounts and opportunities. Again, we're working with leads, so we need to find letters for leads, which are at the bottom. Scrolling down. So now we have lead funeral person planning guide, so we'll select that one because we know we are working with leads. Uh, we can create only one Word file that would include all the generated documents, or you can create multiple Word files. But for now, it's probably best that we just create one Word file with multiple pages. So we leave that checked, click Finish. And again, same process, the email will be sent to you with this mail merge document. So we're gonna jump over to our email. Open up our document within the email. And again, we have our letter here and we scroll down and we'll see that we have two more letters generated. So that's how you basically will generate one letter per lead or multiple letters for multiple leads. The same exact process takes place under accounts. So you need to make sure though, if you're working with accounts, you need to select letters for accounts, which would start with ACC OPP. All those letters are for accounts. The ones toward the bottom that start with LEADS, leads. Those letters are for your leads. So be sure you're either working with your accounts letters or your lead letters. Hope that helps you guys. Thanks for joining in another edition of Two Minute Chat. See you next time.